Hey everybody, this hey everybody, this is Dutch at the Mystic Mountain Homestead, and today we're gonna to be talking about different methods I used to power the Blue Eddy. And we're also gonna be talking about how I have the solar panels wired up. Let's get into it. Okay. Usually I have 1300, 13, 1350 going into the main power supply over here for the solar panels. And then on the DC side, I have um, a 450 watt solar panel, but it's reading low today because it's really overcast. And then I have, I have a, a DC enhancer charger for that 450 watt solar panel that goes in there, of course. Over here on the B300s, I have on the top side right here it says you can have up to um, 12 you can have 12 to 60 volts direct current and 10 amps it says so I have a 200 200 watt solar panel hooked up directly to that and then on this bottom side right here for um, the DC port again I have a uh, DC enhancer charger and then I have 630 watts going into that and it usually reads about 500 watts. I hooked it up over here on the Blue Eddy to test it out just to see what it was reading at. And it was reading about 500 on there. Pretty steady. So that's pretty good. Um, we're going to go outside in a second. And I'll show you all exactly how I have my solar panels wired up. It looks like a real big mess down here, but it's really not. It's really organized. That's the uh, wind charge controller for the... Um, I have two um, big batteries that charge that power all the 12 volt stuff on the RV that's separate from the Blue Eddy. I used the Blue Eddy for mainly like the AC, the refrigerator, heavy appliances in here like that. Um, I use it to watch the TV, charge other batteries off of. Also on overclass, overcast days and a lot of um, wintry days people don't talk about and solar, you know, when you live off a grid, you're going to have to have an alternative source because if you don't have a lot of over paneling going on, you're going to have low wattage and your batteries will not be able to reach their max capacity for what you're used to using. So what I do is I have a um, generator out back, a gas powered generator that I'll run for maybe two, three hours on overcast days and that will top off the batteries. And that's the 2B300s and the AC Max 200 that it fully tops off but it's usually pretty charged from the solar as yeah, so I topped it off yesterday and so it's been running down all right let's go outside and I'm gonna show you how we do those solar panels hooked up okay for the so for the actual gas generator when I'm using it for on overcast and rainy days when it's rainy for multiple days and just can't get that it's cloud that the sun energy we need to get you know the solar power I just run it in right here and I wrap it around with a little um, electrical tape that you know to protect it from getting pinched or anything and I just tossed it under there and it just runs right along the edge right here right up into the gas generator that we got going on over here Like I said, I usually run that for three hours. No more usually than five hours if it's real low, real, real. Like if it's down to like 11% or something like that, I'll run it for five hours and it'll fully charge it up. And that's usually about a quarter tank to run it that long. So that's not bad. This is some of the work I've been doing, covering, making more sun coverage. So look at that cloud, all those clouds and everything out today. But yeah, I dropped all those a bunch of trees. Get out all there. I bulldozed it with the um, tractor into a pile over there and burnt it down. Cleared all that out. Got a lot more to do. So I got to chop those trees up still. All right, let's get into these solar panels. So I got the wires just running straight out of the bottom of the RV over here from where we had that battery system. I'll show you real quick. So I just drilled a hole down up in there. Let's see if I can get you down to see down in there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, let's see, just drill the hole and ran all those wires up. 
and then I go some go up to the front for the different things for the top solar panels and then some go down the back side all the way down the back and they come out down here Ram out these little holes right here so that way they'd be safe when I was driving and I just actually wrap them around right here if I'm gonna go to drive off I wrap them right here and the zip tie them up so they don't be bouncing around everywhere so I got the wires ran over here there are some good length on them so I can move them around if I want to okay so I got them ran in series I got as you can see this one side is going out to the main positive and then the other from solar panel it's connected from positive to negative up to the other solar panel and this likewise other going down to the negative to positive likewise to the other one negative to positive and then all the way out down to the negative side coming back around so they make one big connection it increases the voltage increase the voltage more watts i want to um, do parallel on the exactly on the other side so that way i have the exact same amount of solar panels on the east side and west side so that way when the sun's on the east i'm getting full power and when the sun's on the west i'm getting full power i'm going to do that when i get to my permanent property build a little structure to put them up on you know east and west this is the 450 watt solar panel that i got highly discounted you know i think it was basically free as a gift can't beat that right just had to patch these spots up right here the silicone like base on it it don't seem to affect them one bit but it keeps the water from getting down in those cracks so i just got that hooked up by itself as a single solar panel that's the uh, uh grant it says it says it's the uh, ground side on the blue eddy the main unit and then i got all the other panels i don't know if i can get us up there high enough to see See if we can get up there, guys. All these other solar panels, all, all on top of there. So I got 1,350 watts on the very top of the RV. I want to move my other 200 watt solar panel onto this side of the RV. That's the east side. And right now I have it on the west side. But it's a long cable, so I can move it around as I want. Got plenty of extra cable length right there for it. I'm, like I said, I usually move it from east to west. But I'm thinking about, like I said, doing a parallel. And that's where there will be, I'll do a whole other video series on that. But I'm going to hook it up east and west will be exactly the same amount of solar panels. All right, everybody. If you enjoyed my video, please like, subscribe. And until next time, stay out there and keep doing your off-grid living. Making yourself more free one day at a time.